You ever forget you have kids? <laughs> like you're having a great day? <laughs> and then you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I did do that. <laughs> I was home for the uh, first day of school this year. I took our, our youngest. He's in PK, pre-kindergarten. Cute little shit. I did drop off. I don't mind doing drop off. I don't like that he doesn't know when to start a story. <laughs> he always waits till we pull up to school. I pull up to school. He goes, do you know what happened yesterday? And I'm like, <laughs> why would you wait the whole drive? <laughs> no, it's too, I don't want to hear it now. I fucking kicked him out of the car. <laughs> I go to pull out and the, the teacher comes up to me. She goes, can you come in? And I go, no. <laughs> I graduated a long time ago. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> she goes, all the parents are in there. I go, even more reason why I don't want to come in. <laughs> she goes, we're talking to the kids about COVID. I go, trifecta. I'm not coming in. <laughs> she goes, we have a bunch of snacks. And I was like, all right, I'll see what you got. <laughs> I go in there. She lied. Well, it's not parents, it's dads. They lured us with food. It's a bunch of fat dads <laughs> shoveling food in their faces. We're gonna talk to pre-kindergartners, let me remind you, about COVID. These are three and four-year-olds who say shit like, I like yellow. <laughs> and we're gonna be like, there's a virus that has ruined the economy. All right, get out of here. So she's like, who wants to go first? And I was like, hell no. I stood back, and this fucking dildo in boat shoes, he's like, I'll go. He goes, I learned that every day matters. And I was like, all right. Good one, dork. And then the next dad, he goes, I learned that you never know what tomorrow might bring. I looked for his kid. I was like, is that your dad? <laughs> and then I found my kid. I was like, don't play with that kid. You know? <laughs> she goes, uh, Mr. Segura, do you want to go next? I go, do you want me to go next? <laughs> OK, I'll go. Hey, kids. <laughs> uh, I learned, if you really want to know the truth, I'll tell you the truth. Honestly, honestly, I learned that I didn't really wash my hands before. <laughs> because I didn't. That's what I've taken from these last few years. Remember, because when it first broke, when they were like, this is AIDS in the air, and you're like, wait, what? What did you say? <laughs> How do you get it? And they're like, do you ever touch stuff? And you're like, all the time, yeah. <laughs> wash your hands, okay. Do you ever open doors? The CDC asked, do you ever open doors? So many, yes. Wash your hands, you got it. Now I do, I really do, but if I'm being completely honest, back then, I feel like I really only washed my hands when I had literal shit on them, you know, like, you know those, wipes where your hand comes up and it's right here on your thumb and you're like god damn it I'm gonna wash my hands I'm not a fucking lunatic I'm not gonna see that I'm busy I'm gonna you know I'll give it a real scrub but even then I'll check my work after I'll check to see if I did it Some of you are lying. <laughs> well, I hate when people, oh, that's never happened to me. Really, you've never had a sloppy joe just fall out of you before? <laughs> or a cherry bomb, you know, the <laughs> those, and you're like, it's on both cheeks? How's it on both cheeks? <laughs> Too many Brussels sprouts, that's how. Now, those will get you.